welcome to the short Chris Rock Show interview thing. Uh, I'm joined by the guys from True Heights. Thank you for coming in tonight. No problem at all. Thank you for having us. Fantastic. Hey. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, just give us a brief description of what you guys are playing tonight. Obviously, we're at the Water Rats. Uh, and you're playing the festival. Um, do you guys want to explain a little bit about that? Do you have yeah, much of an idea? Do you want to start? What are we playing? <laughs> <laughs> what are we playing? <laughs> what are we playing this evening? He doesn't know. He has the ears and he can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, he just for click. me, all I hear is click. But for these guys, they'll be playing alternative rock. Uh, <laughs> big, big, heavy, sexy choruses. Mm-hmm. Um, really nice. <laughs> really nice. music. <laughs> so uh, obviously we've already heard Catalyst and Exit Route um, from your upcoming EP, which is Days We Found, Days we found. right? Yeah. Um, have we got anything more to come before that releases? Is there anything you can tell us about the EP at all that's not out already? If, um, yeah, if, well, we're playing a few songs from the EP tonight, some new ones. So if anyone's around in London, if you see this, I'm probably dead. No, I'm not really. Uh, I say that in every interview when it's going to be pre-recorded. Um, yeah, so um, we are playing some new tunes tonight. If you get to catch us on any of our tour dates, you'll hear some new stuff that's exclusive. Um, also, um, we released the um, we obviously released Exit Route and Catalyst. Mm-hmm. Um, they are the first two parts of a three-part kind of music video series that creates a bit of narrative for you. So um, we're playing those two tonight. Um, but in in terms of days of final releases, there's another one to come. As part yeah. of the trio. Fantastic. So obviously we've seen uh, you guys do some pretty amazing. Uh, Hello. We're being joined by a lady with Lou Roll for a second. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously uh, we've seen those two music videos. You guys seem to be kind of like massively into making your music videos. Is there any like uh, stories that you can tell from filming those at all, or you it's know, any really little cool yeah. stuff? It's a horror, no, it's a horror, it's a horror it's a movie. Like it was. Well, the guy that we did exit route, you see the maze we rented from him. Was it? It was. It was a character. He was. He was a character and a half. But um, yeah, he just kind of kept showing us really strange things he had in the forest. And then I think it was right. He was. He kept shooting off and then coming back. And then right at the end, we found like it. It wasn't natural. There was a dead rabbit at the the start of the start. Like we'd just been there, walked away, and we come back like. Five minutes later, and it was just a dead rabbit. So, uh, rabbit it wasn't like, it hadn't naturally died, it, it like, be, it was planted. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like <laughs> yeah, it just, just follow us and die. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little bit hills of eyes, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the guy was kind of like, you need to leave now. Like, that kind of thing, we were like, okay. <laughs> oh. uh, we're joined once again. Yeah. Feel free yeah. to come through. Um, <laughs> Ooh, hello. Um, you okay? <laughs> Knocked somebody's coat over. Uh, okay, so, uh, continuing on, obviously, um, a couple of you guys brothers in the band uh, I myself have a brother now I know that we have uh, a fun time uh, getting along when we spend a lot of time together so I wanted to find out uh, what are your pros and cons of touring as brothers so uh, who should we go to first yeah. Yeah? Steve built up a habit of going instead of calling me Ash he calls me Ash but only on tour at home he calls me Ash but he screams at me in any other situation to do a band <laughs> uh, my apologies for where we're. Just in case anybody's watching this interview, they realise why there's people walking past because we there's nowhere to film here, so we're actually filming just outside the toilets and the. Hey. <laughs> They're starting uh, <laughs> at the bottom and working their way up. Yeah. So uh, if people join us, that's that's why. That's the there's six of us. You can't fit us anywhere. It's great, right, honestly. I don't know about anyone else, well, but I've been looking into the light as opposed to the camera. I don't have wonky eyes, although they did think I was born with the lazy eyes, a child. Um, but uh, yeah, I was, Whoa, we just, I was deep, like, generally looking at the light instead of the camera. Getting some exclusives here. Just Is there anything you want to ask me, maybe? Oh, why, yeah, why do you call yourself? I know you, you're short, but <laughs> why do you call yourself short, Chris? Is that is, is everyone always called you that, or did you decide to start? Um, so I kind of I'm very good at taking the mick out of myself. Uh, <laughs> I think I've Um But yeah, um, no, as you can see, it kind of works perfectly with you guys. I'm definitely short <laughs> compared <laughs> to you, lot. Yeah, true heights, exactly. So short, Chris, and true heights. It works perfectly. Is there anything else you guys would like to plug or? Um, let us know about for the end of the interview. I was just going to play our. These boys did a went to BBC Introduce and did a acoustic app, um, show, which is coming up this Saturday. So, but you'll be able to hear it on the We're BBC iPhone. We're the month for BBC Introducing, and yeah. I, this is a funny little fact because we turned up for the interview and we did the a live acoustic session in the BBC studios, 
And, they're uh, going to try and disguise this. They, are, well. they, they will. And, so, and we had to do two takes of it. I don't think I've even told you boys this, actually. No, like, no, they no, went, no, Brody, no. Brody Swain, the Coventry and Warwickshire BBC introducing DJ, went, so how does, what does it mean to you guys to be BBC introducing Battle of the Month? Me and Alex looked at each other and I went, we're what? And he went, <laughs> you're, you're band of the month. And we went, oh, are we? Like, uh, <laughs> and he was in hysterics and we've had to re-record it like twice or three it's times so now oh, because he, he was like looking at us like you ungrateful <laughs> shit <Yeah. laughs> like we've made you band of the month you don't even know, don't even know. <laughs> like but uh, yeah so big up to Brody Swain and Hannah yeah. who um who actually had to re-record that take about four times uh, to put <laughs> in the show so then they asked us again they went what does it mean to you BBC introducing band of the month we went oh we're over the moon we've, we've been wanting this all our lives it's been fantastic oh my God. so um yeah <laughs> I eat it and I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, obviously, looking forward to see you guys play tonight. Um, soundtrack sounded pretty awesome. Um, obviously, you guys uh, have had a few tours where you've been running a little bit late, so I'm going to let you guys go and get ready for that. Um, True Heights, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.